Imagine you're trying to plan a trip, book tickets, and send your friends emails about all the little details of the vacation. Doesn't sound like a one-person job, right? Hold on though, because with the latest updates to Google's AI tool, Bard, you can get all of that and more, done in no time at all. So, is Bard on its way to becoming the next big thing in the world of AI? How can one tool completely change the way you use the internet? Let's find out in this video. But first, let's break down what Bard actually does. Thanks, Sundar. Large language models have captured the world's imagination, changing how we think about the future of computing. We launched BARD as a limited access experiment on a lightweight large language model to get feedback and iterate. And since then, the team has been working hard to make rapid improvements and launch them quickly. The world is all artificial intelligence right now, from ChatGPT to MidJourney. If you need a job done, someone's probably invented an AI tool for it. But with so many tools to choose from, Google's Bard is emerging as a pretty tough competitor. When Bard was first launched in February 2023, most people thought it was the company's rival to ChatGPT. But here's the thing, Bard isn't just a chatbot, it's a whole new experience. While ChatGPT shook the world, Google's Bard is changing the AI game. You're not just getting automated responses, this is a tool that lets you tackle everything from that birthday bash plan and the perfect email draft to diving deep into some mind-bending complex topics. And here's the real kicker. Instead of just pulling from a limited database like ChatGPT does, Bard fetches its wisdom straight from the vast universe of the web. Pretty cool, right? But let's take a step back. Even though Bard feels like futuristic tech straight out of a sci-fi novel, it's actually powered by something we've seen before. Remember the buzz for Google's language model for dialogue applications, LAMDA? Yes, that same groundbreaking tech unveiled two years ago is the engine running this beast. And that's where the difference comes in. While ChatGPT is undeniably impressive, providing answers at lightning speed, Bard delves deeper, all thanks to Lambda's unique capabilities that seamlessly intertwine the depth of Google's data with the fluidity of human-like conversation. Think of it this way, ChatGPT relies on pre-trained data, right? It's almost like an encyclopedia that cuts off after 2021, but Bard's use of Lambda enables real-time web-based information sourcing, making sure it's always up to date with the latest insights, giving users a world of knowledge quite literally at their fingertips. And with Google's latest new updates, Bard just might become the next big thing in the AI world. It's hard to make an idea come to life when the information you need is in different places. But now you can collaborate with the world's information and your own all in one place with Bard. In September 2023, Google decided to give the world three major updates with Bard, and let's just say all of them promised to be quite revolutionary. First up, you have the integration with Google services. Honestly, this feels like a pretty natural upgrade, considering the fact that the AI chatbot was already pulling its information from Google's web search engine, but now it can pull data from other Google services too, giving you a totally customized AI experience. Then let's get into the double check option, which might just be the coolest thing I've ever experienced, because it lets you verify any and all information that Bard gives you, leaving absolutely no room for errors. But here's the real kicker. Some features that were once exclusively English, Google's gone and broken the linguistic barriers and now caters to over 40 languages. Now that's what you call a game changer. Diving a little deeper into Bard's integration with Google's endless apps and services, the AI tool can now seamlessly connect with Gmail, Docs, Drive, Maps, YouTube, you name it. But how does this really work? Well, imagine asking Bard about that very specific video you favorited on YouTube or directions from your maps, or even seeking details about a doc in your Google Drive. Yet, yeah, this isn't just about global data anymore, it's personal. Want insights from your personal emails, or help drafting a cover letter using your resume details stored in Drive? Bard's got you. And that's not where it ends. Google has also integrated the chatbot with additional services like Maps, YouTube, and Google Flights, helping users retrieve real-time flight details, identify locations they might want to visit, or even search for specific content on YouTube. And guess what? 
Google is also incorporating the capabilities of Google Lens into BARD. Now, how this works is that you can actually plug images into BARD and ask the tool to generate information for you. Whether you want to know more about a certain image or need help coming up with a caption from social media through Google Lens, BARD now has the capacity to analyze the image to help you. And if you ask me, this might just be the very feature that gives BARD the edge it needs over ChatGPT. So, Google's play here is clear, transforming Bard into more than just a chatbot, but a personal assistant, ready to help using your own data. But the cool part is that the power is in your hands. While Bard can tap into your personal data, Google's not going to use any of it to train the AI model or push targeted ads. They've made that super clear. And though Bard extensions come enabled by default, if you ever feel the need for a bit more privacy, toggling them off is a breeze, which might come as a relief to many of you. The second upgrade I'm going to talk about is just as cool as the first one, Bard's brand new ability to verify its responses and provide additional information about topics to the users might just help the tool defeat ChatGPT in the AI race. With Bard's Google It feature, Google now enables you to verify everything that Bard says against Google search. And how do you do it? Simple, by tapping on the G icon that shows up, each sentence provided by Bard undergoes validation against the never-ending database of Google search, making sure that Bard's responses correspond to information available on the web. You can actually delve deeper by clicking on the highlighted phrases that take you to Google search. But hey, Bard's not just a simple fact checker, the Google it button also acts as an uncertainty indicator. So. When the AI is unsure about its own response to any of your questions, it highlights the text in orange, letting you know that the answer might not be very reliable. The best part, every time users give feedback on these maybe answers, Bard learns and gets even better. Other than the major updates though, Google has really zoned in on the little things that really matter. Now users have the option to completely customize the way Bard communicates with them. Instead of just reading Bard's responses, you can also have the option to listen to them. But that's not all. You can also change the tone and style of the responses according to your preference. From simple, long, short, professional, and casual, you have five different style options to choose from. For instance, if you're listing an item on a marketplace and want Bard's take on it, you can easily shorten or change its tone. Sadly though, this feature is currently only in English, with more languages coming soon. I know that some of you might be wondering what the point of this update is, but imagine this. You need to come up with an elevator pitch for a product, the meeting is in five minutes, and you don't have time to sit down, nail the tone, and shorten the pitch to a minute. What do you do? You plug all the information about your product into Bard and ask the tool to do all of the work. That's how easy it is. But you know what? Other than that specific feature, people can now use Bard in 40 different languages, in 230 countries. Talk about global expansion, am I right? From Hindi to Arabic to Chinese, German, Spanish, and more, Bard is going all in on inclusivity, and I'm here for it. The plan is for Bard to be accessible to users anywhere and everywhere, making it everyone's go-to AI tool. What's more is that Google has actively been engaging with experts, policymakers, and privacy regulators to make this rollout sage and smooth. As they bring Bard to more regions and languages over time, Google plans on actively seeking user feedback and incorporating it into future updates. All things considered, there's definitely a lot of similarities between the two AI chatbots. But with Bard's latest updates, I have to give this one to Google. For starters, with Bard, you have access to a world of knowledge through its integrations with Google Search and other services. But as far as ChatGPT is concerned, its database is still limited to data from 2021, which means that users can't really rely on it for any kind of research like they can with Bard. Of course, you can argue that ChatGPT Plus does access web pages through links and plugins, but then again, you can get all of that built in with Bard. And for people who aren't very tech savvy, dealing with all those plugins might not be very easy, giving Bard an edge here. Not to mention that Bard has really stepped up the game with its overall user experience. The layout is now way clearer and reading the responses is more comfortable. For now, Google Bard and all of its capabilities are absolutely free for anyone with a Google account. And while that might change later, ChatGPT has already monetized its premium services, which I believe is a major barrier for people who are still getting comfortable with AI technology. From pulling information from the internet, offering an overall personalized experience, fact-checking 
responses, image processing capabilities, and of course, a wide range of languages to choose from. If Bard continues giving the users what they really need, dare I say it might emerge as the winner of the AI race. Watch these videos as well, hit that subscribe button, like, and drop a comment below to let us know your thoughts.